Right balance, without balance you wouldn't be able to ride your bike. It's the first thing you learn. He has five essential skill tips on how to increase your balance out there. And all you need is a car park, just like the one behind me. I'm gonna kick it off. Number one, track stand. <laughs> yes, the track stand. It's the first thing I start to do when I get on my bike, is start to track stand. And the great thing about this, you wanna be able to do it anywhere. It's good because when I'm climbing up a steep climb, I'm using the track stand. When I get to a technical section in the trail and it's slow, I'm using the track stand. The other thing is, when you're at the top of a descent, I track stand, look at my line, and then I roll in. But if you're struggling with it, best thing is to find a bank. Right, you want to find yourself a nice mellow bank, nothing too steep. You want to face up the bank. You want to have your bars a little bit kinked as well, because having them straight is really hard, trust me. It kind of doesn't work. So a little kink to the bars is like that. And the nature of this bank is your bike's going to naturally move backwards. So when it moves back, you're applying pressure to your front pedal. On your foot, just like that as a brake, you're going to use your brakes as well a little bit, but you're going to find yourself rocking. But that's you trying to get balance. So you're naturally going to move back and forth, back and forth. If you're struggling to find your balance, I find myself staring at something on the floor to help me get my, uh, my concentration levels up. But when you get used to that, you can start looking around. Right, the bank's a great place to, to hone in that skill of doing the track stand, but try and do it on the flat ground. You find yourself using your brakes a lot. You're kind of leaning forward into your brakes, so you've got somewhere to balance. But if you find yourself losing balance, move forward and start again, reset. Try both sides. So you go this side or this side. And you're using that rocking motion to keep balance. But when you get super comfortable, maybe you can take off your hand. Look at that. Or maybe Maybe two hands? Oh, no. <laughs> no. Right, number two, this one's a pretty cool one. Dottie told me about this one, he taught me how to do it as well. And it's fun because you're learning your balancing skills and challenging your mates on how low you can go. And what I mean is, all you need is one of these. Place your water bottle on the floor have your saddle quite low, and then ride up to your water bottle, lean over, pick it up, and put it back in your cage. Easy, right? That was super easy. So now to make it even more harder, lift your saddle up, just a little bit. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go that much. You're gonna have to stretch a lot, a lot lower. So that's getting quite low. Let's make it harder. Right now my saddle's super high up, now I'm going to come in, not too fast, grab it, put it in. That was too easy. Okay, now that's getting too easy. I'm kind of losing my balance a little bit, but I'm going to make it harder, and I'm going to lay my bottle flat on the ground like that. Right, my saddle is at full height, now I'm going to try and bend down and pick up my bottle. This is quite a... Oh, no, it's, it's quite hard. I'm not embarrassed just yet. Whoa! Yes! You see what I did there? Now I'm using my balance, but I'm counterweighting myself with my other leg, so this foot came off the pedal, and I kind of seesawed down and picked it up. But it's all about balance. You're moving your body weight around your bike. It kind of gets you a bit more comfortable on your bike. Okay, now you've picked it up. Now you've got to put it back down. But you don't just want to drop it down. You want to put it down like a nice full cup of hot tea on your table and you don't want to spill it. So you want to place it down gently so it doesn't fall over. But to make it even more interesting, I still have a little bit of water in this bottle and that's kind of giving it a little bit of a, a bit stable. Now, a little bit windy. It's quite light. Now I'm going to try and place it. Look at that. I'm going to try and place it without letting it fall. I'm going to challenge myself and I'm going to put it down with my left hand. <laughs> Mixing it up a bit. And I'm not really used to my left hand side, really. You always have a preference 
to what side you like to turn or what side you like to balance on. My strong side is my right side. My weak side is my left side. Jeez, challenge. If you had your friends around, that should be a cool challenge, eh? You'd be laughing. Who does it first? Oh, look at the track stand going in there. Yes! It's surprising how fun it is just having a water bottle, placing it back down either side of your bike. I find myself, my left side, I need a little bit more work with my balance. Now, that brings me on to number four. Right, this is the quickest way to look super weird in the car park, but it's going to help you because I've seen a lot of people out there are quite stiff when riding their bike. They don't understand how far they can go whilst moving on their bike. So, this is all about the four quadrants of your bike. Left and right, forward and backwards. What you want to do is not go too fast, you want to go slow. And you want to see how far you can lean back, how far you want to lean forward and left and right. So, slow speed back. Forward, back, forward. So you want to try and get your body into some extreme positions. You find yourself using that track stand as well when moving around in slow speeds. Right, so after being super weird in the car park, all the eyes are on you, but the joke's on them because you're going to be super balanced out there. And it's weird because you're going to find yourself in some weird body positions, not necessarily having your body weight in the right areas when you're doing the track stand. Pretty cool. This brings me on to number five. All right, I got some sticks. Rocks will do. Tins will do. Anything will do. Any obstacles would do, but it has to be quite small. What I'm going to do is place this down. This is all about slow speed control whilst turning. What you'll find is my front wheel is going to come around. I'm going to turn around on my front wheel as sharp as I can. And what I'm going to see is my rear wheel is going to come on the inside. So I'm coming in with a small bit of speed. I'm going into that slow speed turning as sharp as I can and splitting my wheels. But that's super basic and that's just me showing you exactly how the split wheel technique works. I'm going to make it harder for myself. I'm just going to place one there, one there, that's quite a scary one, one there like that. So my aim is not to hit the, the sticks with my wheels. So I'm going to go wide with the front. So it compensates with the rear. But you see using that track stand technique to get round. Get round that. It's quite hard. So using that track stand, you're moving your body weight slightly forward. I'm going quite big with the front arc, with the turn, and then to bring it through and just snake through quietly and slowly. Right, if you find that this is a little bit too easy, then just make the gaps a little bit smaller. And likewise, if it's too hard, make the gaps a little bit bigger. But whilst you've mastered that and you've had fun and your mates and your friends have gone through, make a different course. So I'm gonna leave that as my turning point. And what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna make a real close corner like this. So I've made my course, I'm gonna, there's a massive cliff there and I don't wanna touch those sticks and I don't wanna touch this stick either. Because if I touch it, it's like, a, it's like a loaded bomb. It's gonna blow me up, so I don't wanna touch it. Oh, <laughs> well I nearly fell over then. That is quite tight. This is a great way to practice those slow speed cornering skills, but it's always good to practice going the other way. So I've built that one over there. This is a figure of eight. So I'm gonna go left here, then I'm gonna go right on that one. Then you mix it up. You can go left on that one, go right on this one, because each corner is different. Now, this is a challenge. So there you go, five awesome ways to increase your balancing skills out there by just using a car park. The track stand is definitely one that you're going to be using out there on the trail, especially when you come to a sticky situation, you're going to end up in that track stand. Picking up the bottle and putting it back down, now that's a great way to challenge yourself and your buddies out there. And then moving your body weight from extreme positions on your bike, just to get a little bit more comfortable on where you can place your body weight and try and balance it out as well. And then my favorite, the course challenge. 
I love doing this. I actually really do like doing this, especially when you're out there on the trail, going through trees and seeing if you can split your wheels and going as super slow as possible. I love doing it. If you love this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. If it helped you, smash that globe if you haven't subscribed already. And if you want to learn anything else, click this video, basic skills. Let me know what else you want to learn down in the comments below and I'll see you at the next one.